What's good guys and welcome to the daily market analysis here at Elementary FX. It is Tuesday the 18th of April and for today we'll be looking at the USD franc again. Yes, I know guys we've been looking at USD franc a lot but uh, there seems to be a lot of different trading opportunities that has presented itself to us on this pair. So let's uh, look at what we can find on this chart. As you can see in this uh, an hourly chart of the USD franc, you can see in this zone that price has been ranging for quite a while we have our top of our range here and we have the bottom of our range here and the reason why this is a valid range is because um price has found price has found support in the form of consolidation right here before it has found resistance resistance again more resistance before it broke up to the upside and when price broke up to the upside it made a retracement and it found support where did it find support it found support at the top of our range respecting still respecting the range despite being out of it before consolidating a little bit more and finally breaking down into our range again and where did it find support it found support at the bottom of our range before it made a retracement where did it find our resistance at the top of our range before it just uh, slowly consolidated before finding support once again right here and now it's kind of just uh, having a, a slow movement to the right. So uh, like I've said many times previously, the best thing to do in a ranging market or the best opportunities that present itself to us in a ranging market would be advanced pattern completions. So if I were to zoom in on, let me just draw the range again for you. We have our top and our bottom. If we were to look at our 15 minute chart, we can see that there is a potential bullish bet opportunity that has presented itself to us and if I were to draw it out for you we have our X to A leg X to A A to B about a 50% retracement B to C and a CD completion coming right at that 886 level so as you can see um, that 886 level will complete right at the bottom of our range also we have very nice a very nice rejection candle right here very nice uh, candle with a long wick so this would be a very nice uh, level for support and also you can see that we have support right here and um, yep the recent rejections uh, in this area suggest that if price were to come down into this zone right here uh, the pattern could respect the range and um, give us an opportunity to get long right here uh, as of time of uh, recording the video, we are about 18 to 20 pips away from completion. So I hope this gets to you quickly. Um, in review, if price manages to push down into this zone, we could potentially get long right here. Targets will go back up in structure and stops will go below the X leg right here. And uh, this is on the 15 minute chart. So stops will be pretty tight. It'll be about 12, 12 to 20 pips. However, um, we will definitely keep you guys updated as circumstances will might change um, if you guys do want to be updated uh, do join our private trading group on telegram uh, it's free for junior members you can sign up with the link below with the discount code launch 100 as a junior member you'll have access to our private trading group and uh, in that group we discuss some um, potential trading opportunities we discuss the trades that we take and we discuss all things uh, trading forex so do join us if you are interested so in review, this is the USD franc on the 15 minute chart. We have a potential bullish bet pattern that respects the range that could potentially respect the range and also um, give us a bounce in this uh, decision zone right here. This zone highlighted in, um, in yellow. All right. This was the USD franc on the 15 minute chart. The next thing I want to look at will be the USD yen. Uh, and as you can see, this is the USD yen on the 30 minute chart and we're looking for a potential long opportunity. Um, we can see that price has made a big push up before retracing. And the reason why, let me just clear this for you. The reason why we picked out this zone right here. Actually, I have a, I have a buy limit. I have a buy limit currently right now. So I hope this, uh, I really hope this gets too quickly because um, I'm not sure if I've been filled yet. But let me just um, clear this chart for you. The reason why we picked this zone right here is because number one, we look at structure, always structure first. We have very nice projection candles here. We have very nice support right here. 
price has respected that area if i were to zoom out for you let me just see if there's any more in the recent past nope this has been the most recent where price has rejected this area so if we were to go down to a 30 minute chart we can see that this this area right here has been uh has been respected by, by price very recently and the next thing we're going to look for after structure will always be fibonacci so i'm looking at this swing right here swing low to swing high and if i were to use a fibonacci retracement we have a 382 lining up with that area of structure and uh, as you know one fibonacci will never be enough i mean it's adequate but it's always good to have more confluences of fibonacci therefore we use a fibonacci extension of this move right here swing high to swing low and if we were to use a fibonacci extension swing high to swing low back up to swing high we have a 127 level as you can see let me just zoom in we have a 127 lining up very nicely with our 382 level I also think I included an ABCD pattern into this uh, analysis. Let me just draw it out for you. A to B. And if I were to copy and paste that, CD completion completes right at that zone, confluencing with our structure and confluencing with our Fibonacci levels. And that's why I set a, a buy limit right there. If I were to zoom in for you, we can have a final analysis using the RSI. As you can see, price has... Let me just erase the ABCD pattern. As you can see on the on the earlier time frame, on the small time frames, we can see that price has made the same lows. Price has made the same lows. However, RSI has made higher highs. Sorry, lower highs, suggesting that there is a weakness in this downtrend right here, and we could potentially be looking at a bounce right here. So I think I set myself my buy limit right here at the one twenty seven. Targets came up here and um, stops were below this 1618 level. I think I had um, 16 pips for a stop. 16 pips was also used because of the ATR. As you can see, the ATR was about 4 pips. So I had uh, 4 ATR. 4 times 4 would be 16. So I had 16 pips here, also below the 1618 level. Sometimes when you don't have a clear area for stops, uh, usually we use structure for stops however if you don't have a clear area like this there's, there's no clear zone to place your stops and ATR would be a good a good uh, indicator to use your to have your stops and also Fibonacci levels of course so this has been the analysis on the USD yen and the USD franc um, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video guys